the channel. I'm going to show you how to make a sun catcher out of a, a CD, like a music CD. I already did a video showing how to remove this. Um, basically, with um, you can remove it with packing tape. You just press the packing tape down and pull it off. You might have to score it a little bit on the edge, like this, and then start it, and then it should peel off. I'm not going to do that now because we've already done it in a video. When you're done, you have this or this. Um, then what you need to do is I had to go through and remove any sticky that the tape left with Gooby gone. And then before I got, before I'm going to start this, I sprayed alcohol on it to remove any residue from the Gooby gone. So these have been alcoholed and prepped to start to do this. Basically, uh, on these ones, I drilled a hole in the top and the bottom, then two little holes here so I can put a little bead in the center because I just think that kind of like finishes it. Um, and then I just took some craft wire and, and made a little loop for the top. So basically, you have to decide, and after you do this, you spray paint it with clear coat. But you basically have to just decide what kind of design you're going to use. Now, there is no right way or wrong way of decorating these. Um, you can go to the craft store and you can buy, um, you can buy paint that goes on glass and get this see-through effect. Um, for like faux stained glass, you can use alcohol inks, you can, um, you can use, uh, craft paint. The black on this is done with metallic craft paint. The black on this is done with a, like a, a permanent marker. So you can use, you know, I don't have the, um, I have glass paint, but I don't have glass paint. Um. I'm not pulling it out for this. So this is what you can make. The next ones I make will not have the charm here on the bottom. Um, I'm going to sell these at an event and I figured they'd be just as nice if they were just that hanging. Uh, I'm going to sell them reasonably around $6 because um, they're just fun. I found these fun to make. And I don't like doing adult coloring books so I found these fun to make. Now, the way you get your designs is you can freehand your designs on these, whatever you want to do, or you can do what I've done. And I went through and basically, basically I took a blank piece of paper and I, oh, let's mark that. Basically I took a blank piece of paper took myself a CD, put it on the paper, drew around the CD, basically, so I basically, that's how I came up with a template for these, so I had the size of the CD, then I took a pencil and I drew in whatever design I wanted. And then I went back over it with the permanent marker so that I would have a reusable template to use to do more. So I've done all these different templates. I put them in a plastic sheet protector so that I could reuse them and reuse them. And if I got any paint or anything on this, I could remove it from the top. So that's basically what I did, was made some templates. Now, do I have to use this exact design? No, I don't have to use this exact design. I think I'll do this one for demonstration. And I'll tell you why I'm going to use this one for demonstration. Because if I took this completely, because sometimes you'll get everything off the CD. You'll get everything off of it. And then other times, I don't care how hard I tried. To, scrub, to get this off, 
I was unable to get that black off. So I'm going to show you. I know that this, this is my hole right here. And I know that this first design, I will not see it. So I pre-drilled. You can't really see it. But I pre-drilled a hole here. I basically pre-drilled a hole right here. And two little holes right here. Because I kind of think putting the bead in the middle kind of finishes it off. It kind of like finishes it off, you know. Put a bead in the middle. I don't know. It's just something I like to do. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do. So basically, I'm going to take my top hole and use that as my center top. So it doesn't really matter if I turn the paper or not as long as my hole is right here. And I want my hole between those designs. Then I'm just going to take some masking tape. And I'm just going to tape this down on here. Get it in my hole. And I'm centering, even if I'm a little bit off, I'm centering it with this design in the middle because I've got to do something with this. So just tape it so it doesn't slide around while you're working on it. And then I watched a couple videos on other people doing this and the different paints they used. This woman had used the, um, the paint for glass to make it look like stained glass. And she said it was okay, but it was really harder to use. And then she used another paint and used the paint for the look like the lead. And she said that was hard to use. She said she got the best results using permanent markers. Now, this is not a Sharpie brand. You can use Sharpie brand. This is a Walmart. I got these at Walmart. Um, they came with a buttload of colors. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, do I need all these colors? No, I don't. I used these on those three Mandela Sun Catchers, those three CDs. And I actually really like these markers. And I have alcohol ink markers. I have some. And I have alcohol ink. Um, but I, I actually... Oops. I actually really like these markers. I, last night when I was using them, I was like, oh, I like these markers. So basically, you just pick out your colors that you want to use for your project. Now, I went through... And I rearranged the colors, you know, I like put all the pinks together. This actually comes divided up into like brighter colors, muter colors, more earthy tones. But I actually went ahead and um, um, just, just, just decided to go ahead and, and divide them up. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and color this all in black, but when I'm done and it's dried, I'm going to use probably a silver Sharpie uh, paint pen to go back and, and put a little sil silver on this part of the design. Um, and I'm only doing this right now because I'm not going to outline the rest of this. I'm just going to do this part for the moment so that I know that I'm dealing with something in the middle of this one. I mean, I don't have to do this right now. But basically, just color it. It's that simple. Just color it. Now, I could do this with um, craft paint and make it a different color. I could add, I could leave it black and just highlight this design with some um, black mark, uh, with some color, color. And it does not have to be perfect, perfect. Uh, this to me is more of a, um, oh, I know it's the term I'm looking for. I'm just coloring in the whole CD section. 
more of a folky type art project than it is a fine art product project. That's what it is to me, more folky than it is fine arts. But I like the folk art type work. And you can clean up these these little half whatever. But imagine when this is dry, if you took a little bit of metallic craft paint and you went in here and kind of like highlighted that a little bit, that would be so cool. So then it's just a matter of picking your colors. Going over to the markers and picking whatever colors you want to paint this sucker. Um, I think this would be really pretty. I think these petals here would be really pretty this color green next to that black. So it's really just a matter of going over it. And it is highly suggested that you go over this twice. And when this side dries, flip it over and do the other side. So what I will do is leave my markers sitting on the side here. And just, just kind of like go all different directions. Because then what happens is the ink kind of like, it kind of like, oozes around the spot. I don't know what to say. It kind of like puddles in areas and you get more of that stainy glass type thing. And just keep doing this. Now you do have to let it dry before you can give it a second coat because if you don't it gets sticky and this is why I normally wait to do any black because if you hit that black with the color it can kind of muddy up your color for a minute. But I still think this is going to be pretty. I've been wanting to do something with CDs uh, for a while. And um, when I saw these done on YouTube, I was like, oh, I want to do that. And you, you want to have to want to do this because this is quite an in-depth preparation for this little project. But you just color it and color it and color it. Like I said, go different directions. Do the side of the of the of the of the uh, use the side of the marker because see how it's doing kind of a puddle effect there. Kind of doing a puddle effect. If you, you see, if you go back over it too soon, you take away the color. So. They made these with a fat point. That would be really nice. I don't know if anybody makes any fat pointed different color ones. I really don't. But just go through and, and do your coloring. So this is going to be probably green. And then probably this was, a, this was a pretty color. This was a pretty color. So we'll do the background of this, this color. And you can go back and blend colors too. I mean, I'm coloring it just like I thought there was a black line there. Just go over the hole and everything. When this, I mean, I know I can only go up to the tape so far right here but when this is all said and done see and right there there's still a little piece of the label there <sighs> some people say you've got to get all the label off just get most of it off it's not that big of a deal I don't think I think these are pretty just where they are when they're done I'm gonna be making other things with the with the CDs I'm going to be making uh, wind chime pieces with the CDs. I'm going to be making um, square tiles out of them. Uh, down, at least I want to. I'm hoping to. I, I have all these ideas to do with them. It just takes a little time coloring it in. So I'm going to pause you guys for a minute and come back to you guys. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys. Pretty much I've put all the color down. 
and then I grabbed another color and I want to go in the background here and you just hit it a little bit and that is going to give me a little bit of a, of a different color texture to the background kinda you just hit a little bit what's causing this is the reaction of the colors mixing on plastic on a, on a solid surface so that's what's causing this reaction um, I don't know all the technical scientifics I just know from years of working with alcohol inks and permanent markers are alcohol ink based that you basically get this reaction when you do this um, if you were to spritz alcohol on this you would get another reaction which I've not tested and I'm not going to do that tonight just go through and kind of hit it you can do this on the other side too when you paint the other side because you kind of just paint in a way I say you're painting so I keep the two colors that I blend like that together then I go back with the original color and I hit it one more time I won't go back with the light blue I'll just go back with this color hit it again and they'll blend those colors a little bit more it almost like marbleizes them I guess but I'll go through and do this sporadically I'll make sure I get close as you turn the page you can see if you need to get closer to those black lines and before I untape this I will go through and do the line black lines um, before I untape this and then I'll untape it then I'll do the spots that the tape were and was and then I will let those dry and then I will flip it over and do the other side but see how a blank CD basically just became something pretty that once you add the beads to and somebody you can hang it up in a window you can hang it up on a lanai you can hang it on a porch I mean yeah I don't know how long it's gonna last for because I don't have I haven't done in much of these but you know six months to a year if it gets that much out of it without the Sun fading it I mean if it's in a if it's on a wall or hanging in a window that doesn't get much sun it'll last a, quite a while and then these have all dried so I'll go back with the green or turquoise and I'll hit it again just to get more of that um, variation of tones on that I mean you might have liked it just the way it was you don't have to go back and add more color but I think it looks nice when you do add more color personally I think it gives it more depth and if you were to make a mistake in any way all you have to do is either wipe it all off spritz it with alcohol and start all wipe it all off start all over or go in with a little bit of alcohol on a q-tip or a napkin and just clean up the area where you where you didn't like it or you thought you made a mistake but again you guys as I keep saying there are no mistakes in art I think it was the Native American Indians who my understanding is that when they beaded stuff they uh, did one bead off because they said nothing in nature was perfect nature was perfect by itself I mean I've heard that my whole life I've heard that say, that said but see that's pretty much done I can give this purple some colors are going to be more rich than other colors and you don't have to color the whole thing some more you can just color bits and pieces you know certain spots you see like right here where I just went off like that this I can take alcohol 
And that's why I put it in the protective sheets. Um, I can take alcohol and remove that. I only did that because I like to make things and try to sell them at like little craft fairs and stuff. And if these sell for a couple bucks, you know, five, six bucks, whatever. And if somebody really, really liked them, since this is actually fun to do, and they said, oh, I would like to have two of these, I have the pattern that I can go back and make a couple of them. I mean, I'm never going to get rich off my arts and crafts. It just, it's not going to happen. But I enjoy making things. Like right here, I can see on this red, or this pink, this mauve color, when you, when you turn the paper, you can see where, okay, you can get closer to that line. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll take the black marker, and we'll go through and we'll trace these out. So I'll come back to y'all in a minute. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and trace the inside design. Just basically tracing over it to give myself the black lines. That's all I'm really doing. I did, on, like I said on this one, I did go through with a paintbrush and uh, some metallic um, black craft paint from Walmart. Honestly, I don't think it looks much better than that. So, I opted not to do it because I was tired and my hand was a little shaky. And, like I said, it's not. this is not a perfect art, art project. This is more of a folky art project. So, it's just easier to do this. Now, if I wanted to get fancy and add some little lines for detail, I can do that. All I did was originally just put the outline of the design. But I could go back in here and I could put I could put some out I could put some detail in there. See what a difference that already makes? Just putting that little bit of detail. And when you flip this over, and I could bring these points out more if I wanted to on these petals. I could put a dot here, a black dot. But th there's so much more you can do. This is just, like I said, this is just the outline. This was the paper underneath is just the template for whatever design you want to do. But that, that already makes it look different. And you'll be able to see this. I think I already did this one. I'm not really sure. So, and then I just go through and do these. But it is important when you line this up on the paper that you make sure you have what is your top. Like this will be the top of the of the of the uh, this will be the top of the sun catcher. This is actually kind of fun. It's like a grown-up bird. And you can do this with children. I would just I would just get them to this stage. I would not have them involved so much in the removing of it unless you were sitting there with them helping them move. Because I did get a lot of that of that shiny stuff on me afterwards. I walked in the house and my daughter's like, Mom, why do you have glitter all over you? Because in pulling it up, it kind of flies every place. Um if you've ever done any gilding, it's like gilding. But that that's technically like done on this side. I just had to color in these two little spaces here that I missed. Basically, I just peel it off the paper. I mean, it's it still needs a coat on the back because once you give a coating on the back. And you could go back and redo this again, even though you did the outlining. But just do the couple places you miss. That's all you gotta really do now, on this side.
Put a little bit of the blue in there. It kind of gives it kind of because the pink and blue mixed together, kind of gives it a little bit of a purplish. Then go back with just a little more. But that is pretty much let that dry. That's pretty much done on this side. So I'll let it dry and then I will flip it over and do the other side. Um, when it's all done, when it's all done, those other ones, I coated them with this. Um, I can't get to a, a thrift, oh, not a thrift store. I can't get to a craft store right now to buy a, 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 a glaze. So I went to Home Depot to get something I needed to do a project in the house the other day. Um, I'm going to cock my tub again while I'm home. But um, I went over to their spray paint and saw this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. And it said on it that you could put it on plastic. So that's the only one I could read. And this is so small, I can't read it. So that's the only one in the store without a, that I could actually tell. And I was in a hurry. That would spray on plastic. So that's what I sprayed on these. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's really any shinier uh the only thing the spray paint did was protect this a little bit um but i would actually it says it dries within 20 uh 20 second 20 minutes 20 minutes but it says it takes uh 24 hours to cure what i would do because i did it 20 minutes and then i flipped it over and did the other side and i think there was just a little bit right here of it sticking I can feel it it's fine I mean it's pretty I I will sell this um, without any guilt um, and I'm real picky about selling things that I don't think are worth people spending the money on I'm not gonna um, um, sell somebody something that I don't think is good um, I would probably do a bunch of these spray one day one side then spray the other side the next day uh, I'm gonna try that next time because then I, I'll feel better about them. But I think that's pretty just the way it is. Now what I will do is take this Sharpie marker. Um, and I will actually take it. Let me show you guys what I'm going to do. I can't. I won't be able to show you repaint. But basically now what I would do before I do this. Is I would paint this other side. I'd go through and use the same colors. And I would paint this up with the markers. I would paint this other side. That way you get a much better deep color than, you know, it's a little more. And I do the pink technique the same way. But it, say this was done, I would take um, one of these if I, wanted to, if I wanted to add a little extra to that. And then I would just kind of like... You could kind of like... Dab some metallic on it. And it would give it a little bit more something to it than what it was. It would spruce it up a little bit. Oh, you don't have to, though. You can leave it plain. You can leave the black plane like that. But that's just, just if you want to like give it a little bit more color in here. Just a little bit more something. That just kind of finishes off a little bit more. That's all that does. And then I could still go back and reshape those curvatures with black. But that just gives it a little bit more something. And if, I, if the other side was done, I say that's done. But the other side's not done. 
But that'll be pretty. Put some beads at the top, put the bead in the center, and that's going to be pretty. But that's how I would finish it off with this. So it's going to take you, it's going to, if you did this and if you did this and you were able to spray this right after you did this, after this dried, it would take you two to three days to do this, I think, because I think you do need to allow 24 hours. I mean, maybe there's more spray paint out there you can get that will um, um, work the same. I'm sure there's multiples. I'm sure you could use a cheap clear coat paint, too, that you can get, like, at Walmart or whatever. But I decided to try this. Um, when I know I'm going to sell something, I go the little extra step of buying something that I think will work better than cutting corners a little bit because I, I'm selling it to somebody. So I'll let this dry and then I'll do the other side and then I'll beat it up and it'll be ready to go. And then what I use for the, the hangers here, you can use, um, basically I just strung beads on and I strung them on with fishing line and I used a crimp bead, in, like I used, I put the fishing line in, I put a crimp bead, and then I just used beads. And then I was going to use um, keychain, the round keychain things, but I have some of this. I got it at the Dollar Tree. So all I did here was basically, I, oh, come on. Basically, I just took this and I just curled it around a couple times. Then I took then I took a marker and I wrapped it around a marker and then I wrapped it around it like like almost one and a half and then I cut it off cut it off close. And because I don't want anybody to get hurt on it, I took that pointy end and I pushed it in. And I put my finger back on it just to make sure. Because I don't want anybody to get hurt on it. I don't do too well with wire wrapping. That's one of my... See? I mean, you can feel it, but you got to really, like... you got to really reach in there and pull at it. All right, there it's done and then I just run my fishing line through here and string my beads on and then I've got a pretty pretty uh and this is just aluminum wire it's like I said I got a Dollar Tree a long time ago I wish and now I had more because it's really easy to bend um if I run out before I can get and find some more of this or order more of this I will uh, go ahead and use the um Go ahead and use the um, um, keychain things I got. Um, or you could use kind of any wire, really. Um, I know that you can buy some wire at Walmart that is a big thing of wire for like five bucks. You could use that too. It might tarnish a little bit, but it won't, it won't rust. But there's, there's, there's many different things you can use as a uh, hanger thing. I mean, I guess you could even use a wire coat hanger. I guess you could even use one of these if you're just doing it for yourself. This is those um, shower curtain hooks from the from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. Uh, you think you get 12 hooks for a dollar 30 at Walmart? For the Dollar Tree, you get them for a dollar. I mean, I guess you could actually, and you don't have to use fishing line. If you can, you whatever beads you're using. You can use, I think that's dry. Any bead you're using, you can use anything you want. Anything. So, I mean, you can use um, twine. You can use cotton string. You can use anything. I see that black line right there. I can go back and do it now, or when I'm doing this side, I can go over that again. It'll be fine. But see, this is, this is dry enough to, like, start doing it again. So, there it looks great down, but I would just take my colors again, and I would just start coloring this again. 
I would just go to town coloring this. You can already tell by going over on this side, you can already tell that the color is much darker now. Now that I've done this other side. And that's what helps to um, darken the color is to do the back side. That's what the one lady suggested was on doing it was do the back side. Because it just it just makes the color much darker. And you don't you don't have to do the two tone on this pink part. Like I could just do I could just do the one color. See I could just do the one color and it would still look it would still look okay. You know, it's totally up to you as I as I will say again and again, this is a project that you can do it however you want to do it. If you wanted to take and spray paint this whole CD, you wanted to take a, a CD like this, okay? And you wanted to spray paint the whole CD, a solid color, with spray paint and then glue rhinestones to it, you could do that. If you wanted to take two CDs and glue them together and just have the shiny part, and then hang beads from that, you could do that. So you can make these things however you want to do them. I mean, you can you can color them like this, or you can, um, like I said, glue two CDs together and just have the shiny part reflecting light, and then hang gems or hang gems at the top and just do like a gem sun catcher. You can do whatever you want. I just decided to do them this way. Um, it's more work this way, but I think I like that thrill of more work <laughs> when it comes to a project. I don't know, but, and you can get your designs from anything. You can get them from uh, an adult coloring book. You could lay this down on top. You could lay the CD down on top of an adult coloring book and just trace your designs if you want. There's no uh, wrong way about the designs either. Do whatever you want to do. That's why I said this would be a great project to do with kids. Could you imagine um, you doing these with children and uh, they giving them to uh, a grandparent as a, as a grandparent gift or a birthday present or something? And then grandma could put them on her porch or whatever. And enjoy them for a while. So I mean, that see how vivid, how not vivid. I don't know if that's the right word. How dark the color is now on that red, on that pink. If I'm gonna go back and put the blue in, I gotta wait until it dries just a little bit. It does best when it dries just a little bit. Well, I don't know if it does best, but that's what I'm gonna do. I could have put a secondary color. In these petals and then that would have given a neat um, effect if I was just wanting to do straight up just a, just take this blank CD and just color it not put no design on it I probably would have pulled out my alcohol inks and started playing with that and I may do a video on the show how to do that but I wanted to show you guys how I did these so I'm going to say, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. And um, don't let nobody tell you how to do your art. Enjoy your art and just do whatever you want to do. Art, art is created, so go out and create some art. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. Bye.